Hello, it's the start of 2023 and those of you with a 3D printer and a resolution to start a business might be thinking, okay, 3D printers can print cool things, but how can I sell that stuff? And more importantly, how can I make money? Equally, those of you still deciding on what printer to buy, don't panic, I'll be giving my recommendation from seven years of printing experience in the design industry and letting you know how you can make your printer pay for itself. In this updated tutorial, I'll be taking you through how to find the right product, how to print consistently, how to advertise and generate sales using ads, as well as hints and tips to make you stand out from the competition and get your business running smoothly and profitably. PCBWay is the best in the biz for its quick and fast circuit board turnaround, PCB assembly and amazing customer service. But did you know that they also offer laser cutting, 3D printing and CNC machining? Follow the link in the description to learn more and earn $5 off your first order when you sign up at PCBWay. It's been almost two years since I uploaded my how to make money 3D printing business tutorial and since then I ramped up sales, bought more printers and got a haircut. I'll also be telling you why I'm leaving the 3D printing game at the end of the video, but first let me give you all my magical secrets so that you too can make money 3D printing. Just as before, a unique and exciting product is the key to the success of your business. If your primary goal is to maximize profits, then you want a print that requires as little of your time as possible to post-process. Designs which need you to remove support material, sand, paint, and polish will eat up your time and reduce the number of sales you can make. Ideally, something small that you can print in batches without supports will mean you can package straight from the build plate and reduce shipping costs. This means you'll want your 3D printed product to be either useful or unique, or ideally both, so that you can justify a higher price tag and maximize your profits. Revenue from low value items quickly get eaten up by advertising, seller fees, shipping, and material costs, as I myself have experienced when selling on Etsy. More on that later. One great example that plays to the strengths of 3D printing is this customizable desk plaque, which has generated over 50,000 sales on Etsy, a custom unique aspect such as personalized text often allows customers to overlook the fact the product is 3D printed and therefore not as polished as something injection molded, which is something to consider when pricing your items. Now, disclaimer, you don't want to be finding items that other people designed and start flogging them online. This is a fast track to copyright infringement and struggling to make your sales as you compete with a sea of people with established set of profiles all selling the exact same 3D printed dragon. If there is a design that you want to use and it's not your own, then just make sure you contact the creator and get their permission first. A unique design sets you up for less competition and can give you that extra motivation to work harder to see people buying and enjoying your products. Other USPs or unique selling points you might want to consider could be prints that customers finish at home, such as painted figurines and cosplay gear, Cases with custom text for popular items such as phones, PlayStation covers, and laptops. Modifications and custom mounts for products like drones, cameras, and Nerf guns. Whatever you can think of really, just remember to keep it unique and either minimize the need for post-processing or have the customer do it as part of the fun. More info on designing for 3D printing can be found in my design for 3D printing tutorial down in the description. So now for the part you're probably most interested in, advertising and sales. If no one hears about your product, then you won't bring in the sales and you'll soon find yourself surrounded by more speakers than you know what to do with. There are lots of platforms out there to help you reach a market, some of which have their own ad features to help you get started. What you need to bear in mind is the level of control you want, the market you want to reach, and the amount of time you're willing to invest to reach that market. For example, if you're not a fan of social media, then you might not be prepared to put in the time and effort that comes with setting up a fleet of accounts and regular posting to build followers and traction. If this sounds like you, then Etsy can act as a good starter since their built-in ad service allows you to quickly get your product out to a targeted audience. The catch is that they generally take much higher fees, in some cases north of 17.5% in exchange for the privilege. Equally, Etsy ads work on a pay-per-click basis, 
which means that you can often end up spending more on the ad than the profit generated from the sales. I fell trapped to this recently in a side hustle selling colorful duck posters on Etsy. An A5 poster priced at £5.50 meant that after the cost of product, packaging, shipping, ever-growing Etsy fees and a 15% charitable donation to Mind, I was only profiting £2. Since ad fees are 32p per click, that means it only takes 6 clicks without someone buying one and all the profit is gone. Also, 1 in 6 clicks turning into a sale isn't considered a bad ratio. Clearly, either cheap products, Etsy or charitable donations are out of the question. This ties back to the initial suggestion of your 3D printed product having a USP so you can justify a higher price tag and therefore a higher profit margin. Perhaps something like a 3D printed Bluetooth speaker kit that you build for yourself. I doubt anyone's doing that. This leads me to my preferred route and the way I've made the vast majority of my money selling my 3D printed speaker kits. Building a website, setting up social media, and using WooCommerce or equivalent to handle sales. Sounds daunting, but I'll give you an idea of how to get started and provide some useful links down below in the description to get you set on the road to a successful business. But first, what benefits does this route bring? Firstly, complete control of your brand. By this, I mean you control the look of your website, your adverts, and any marketing material you have. If you're looking to build a brand and not just solely flog as many products as possible, then this route will help you build a reputation and increase the likelihood of future products launching successfully. Using WooCommerce with PayPal means that you have less fees, a much more respectable 3 to 4%, which means higher profit margins, or the ability to price your product more competitively, which can help you generate more sales. Going this route makes it easy to set up Facebook and Google ads, which in my experience are much better at targeting the right audience. With Facebook ads being as easy as they are, you can set up a page for your business and start an ad campaign all within a couple of minutes. Just make a post from your Facebook page and from there you can promote and target your ad to a specific audience to help boost sales, direct people to your website, or just build social media traction which will help with your brand and future launches. Adverts don't have to be expensive. For example, when I started a 15 pound ad campaign spread over seven days, sent over a hundred people to my website and generated a few sales off the back of it. Facebook and Google ads also collect data on how your ad performed so you can better design and target the ads in the future. If setting up a website sounds daunting, then it needn't be. There are lots of platforms that make setting up a basic website quick and easy, such as Wix or Squarespace. However, for those who want more customization as I did, there are options like WordPress where you can make your website to your exact requirements. I used a plugin called Elementor, which made editing simple and produced great results, all of which helps with brand image and credibility. For website hosting, I use SwitchWeb, which offers everything you'd need, such as unlimited custom email accounts, WordPress hosting, and storage for as little as £29 a year. With some useful tutorials I've linked down below, you can realistically have a website like mine up and running in a couple of weeks with PayPal checkout and a design totally unique to you and your business. On the back end, I can use WooCommerce to monitor sales, check current stock levels, email customers, and set up competitions as I'll be doing again soon, so get subscribed for that. If building your own website still sounds intimidating and you have the cash to pay someone to build it, then I suggest looking at the Web Orchard, which is a great website development agency offering competitive prices and industry leading designs. Something that people often skip over and like to ignore is the legality of selling your products, probably because it's boring. But bear with me viewers and let's speed through this crash course since it could save you from getting into trouble. When you manufacture a product, you are responsible for checking the product meets conformity for the area you are selling in, which for the UK or EU means a declaration of conformity citing the relevant harmonized standard or directive requirements. This sounds terrifying and it did to me until I did 400 page CE documents for farm growing equipment in airports so now quick 3D printed octopus phone stands don't seem so bad. As a bare minimum, you must find what requirements apply to your product and assess your product against them in a risk assessment. 
which is a fancy way of saying, does the product pose as a choking hazard? No. Once you have ensured you've met the directors, then you can make a declaration and affix your CE mark for Europe or UKCA mark for the UK. There's a bit more to it than this and it's beyond the scope of this video, but I've attached some useful information down below. The point is you can do it all yourself and it needn't cost you a penny unless you require some external testing. Now, chances are if you're selling some prints on Etsy, then you won't get called out on any of this, but in reality, it is a requirement and something to bear in mind. As for the laws for those of you in the US of A, I'm afraid I have no idea what you need to do. So if you have some useful information, then please share it in the comments down below. I stand before this courtroom and declare this product to be safe. Thank you. Thank you. As with my previous video on how to make money 3D printing, the reliability of your printer is absolutely key if you are to have success consistently selling products and maintaining a good seller profile. My reliable and now pretty old printer Jeff is still going as I've been properly maintaining it over the years. The classic items to watch out for still stand such as replacing the nozzle every three to six months or as soon as you start to notice wear. Having a level build plate ensures prints don't become unstuck mid print, turning into a stringy ball of plastic, wasting both time and material. This is less relevant now as new printers such as my CR10 Max Pro come with a BL touch system, which accounts for any warps in the build plate. But if you run older printers, then I still recommend teaching tech's bulletproof method from his video, which I've linked in the description. I no longer use any kind of adhesive or brim settings. Instead, I've moved away from glass plates to these sandpaper type surfaces combined with a flexible magnetic build surface for easy removal of prints. Great for quick batch production. Since using this formula, I haven't had issues with prints popping off early or warping and the surfaces last for months before you replace them. I've linked everything I use down in the description and I couldn't recommend it more. In my lab, I also keep my printers behind a curtain so that the temperature around the print is constant and free from gusts of air, which can cause a print to warp. Without properly maintaining your printer, such as tightening belts, you'll quickly find that your 3D printing business becoming frustrating with your profit margin being eaten away with failed prints, long lead times, and new printers as you drop an elbow on your current one. And his name is John So with all this under wraps, then it's time to finally ask yourself some important questions. Why do you want to get into the 3D printing game? Is it because you want to sell as much as possible or are you looking to build a brand to sell a whole range of products down the road, some of which may not be 3D printed? I decided to take the latter route as I have an interest in designing and making exciting prototypes like the all aluminium arcade machine with over 200 LEDs and 12,000 games from my last video. My reason for saying this is you need to enjoy what you do and keep it fun. For what it's worth, there are times that I found keeping on top of things with my business both difficult and stressful, but my passion for design, educating and what I'm selling has always pulled me through and made it worth it. You can have sales rolling in and printers at max capacity, but if you don't enjoy it, then that might be a sign to target your business strategy at something you do enjoy so you can make it more sustainable. With that being said, here's some final useful tips for your business. Keep on top of stock levels. I use a spreadsheet which alerts me when I need to order more components along with how much of a product I have ready to go. Each product I sell has its own dedicated shelf space and is packaged ready to go so that when a sale does come in, I can fulfill it as quickly as possible and keep customers happy. I use the same strategy when setting up my poster business on Etsy and built some cheap custom shelves to make things quick and easy. I'd also recommend encouraging customer reviews. This is where I've fallen short as I haven't set up automated emails to remind customers to leave a review in the same way that Amazon does. 
So while sales might be rolling in, there's no reminder for a customer to come back and review an item. Having lots of reviews validates your business and can make it easier for a new customer to trust you and part with their money, which is especially important when it's your own website. All in all, there is no magic pill for success. And with all the advice in the world, the best I can give you is go out there and give it a shot. Just do it. You'll only regret it down the line if you didn't at least give it a try. So start experimenting and find what works, have fun, and don't be too hard on yourself if things don't pan out as you'd hoped. It's all lessons learned that you can apply to your career and all other aspects of your life. And hey, you never know, you might just get to a point where you think, yeah, I could do this full time, my products are bringing in money, and I'm able to focus on what I love doing. So go for it. I truly wish you the best of luck with your 3D printing business and the greatest success in your 2023. As for why I'm leaving my 3D printing business, I'm taking some of those earnings and traveling Asia with my girlfriend because why make the extra cash if you never spend it? I won't be taking my printers with me, but that's not to say I won't be using the brand I've built to sell digital assets, plans, and continuing to make new videos. I'll also still be working with PCB Way so I can make exciting new products and designs with their quick and competitive manufacturing and 3D printing services. So if you're excited to follow the story and learn along with me how to build a digital business and brand, then I'll be making regular tutorials as well as project videos like handheld retro gaming consoles, headphones, and more. So get subscribed for that and check out some of my other content. Huge thanks to everyone for watching. And until next time, keep designing, keep making, and keep on creating. Anodized aluminium. 12,000 games. 2.1 gigahertz of overclock. 200 LEDs. The ultimate in arcade design.